Hello folks, and welcome to the Gavin Hume Music Channel. This is the second in a series of videos looking at some of the stories behind the songs on the new album, Sing a Different Song. And next up is Change Your Mind. It's time to change your mind And admit you might be wrong Open up your heart to find the dream intent This is a song about seeing things differently. About 400 years ago, a man called Galileo made his famous telescope. And this telescope enabled him to see things differently. As he studied the solar system through it, he saw that what he'd been taught about the way the solar system works was wrong. And Galileo soon discovered that it's ridiculously difficult for people to change their minds over something like this. And he had a little disagreement with the Pope and the Church about it. It's hard to change the way you view things. And though invited, most folks did not want to look through Galileo's telescope. They didn't want to see things differently. Jesus was someone who invited people to see the world differently. He began his teaching with the word repent, which means change your mind. Jesus then goes on in the upside down theology of the Sermon on the Mount to challenge people to change their minds about all kinds of things to unlearn their wrong or distorted images and perceptions about God, about themselves, about other people, about the scriptures, about what's really important in life, and about what God desires for them and for the world. This song is a reflection on that, but also on that repeated phrase that Jesus uses. You heard that it was said, but I tell you. That phrase, was where the song started. And I remember exactly where I was, walking on the Coaldale Round in the midst of the Lake District Fells after preaching on the Sermon on the Mount the previous Sunday. And that line kept going round in my head and I sang it out, experimenting with a melody after checking behind me that there was nobody around to hear me. And I got my phone out and I made some notes but there it stayed for a couple of years. Until I decided to challenge myself by trying to write a song on guitar, which is something that doesn't come as easily to me as the piano. But I do to try and stretch myself and for a bit of variety. And I was reflecting on how I had changed my mind on a number of things over the past couple of decades and what had led to that. And in particular, which parts of the Bible had helped me to do that. And I returned to the Sermon on the Mount, and especially to this book by Steve Chalk called Different Eyes, and especially a chapter on the Sermon on the Mount. So here's a quote from the book. The problem was that the religion of the scribes and Pharisees, whose whole approach was based on endless rules and regulations, had twisted, warped, and hidden God's real character, the essence of the law and the prophets, from the ordinary people, rather than revealing him to them. Instead of providing the basis for liberation, the religious leader's whole method of interpreting the Torah had become a tool of condemnation, oppression, rejection, and exclusion. After declaring who is blessed in the Beatitudes, Jesus then demonstrates a faithful questioning of the scriptures. He shows the deeper intention behind those scriptures, that he's come to fulfill them, to bring them to their fully intended purpose, to complete what was seen only in part by previous generations, and to correct what was misunderstood. You heard it said, an eye for an eye But I tell you to live more graciously You heard it said You only need to love your neighbour 
But I tell you to love your enemies. This is explosive, mind blowing stuff. And it was far too much for the religious leaders of the day. Questioning the law, questioning the scriptures. Who does this guy think he is? Changing your mind is so difficult, especially on things that you've held for so long to be true. And I wonder, of what today might Jesus be saying to us? You heard that it was said, but I tell you. What scriptures have we misinterpreted through the distorted lens of our own cultural prejudice? And where do we need to change our mind to see things differently? That's the reason I wrote this song, and I hope you enjoy it. And perhaps you might like to check it out at gavinhume.bandcamp.com. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the button and the notification bell. If you might be interested in more videos like this one, then please follow or like the Gavin Hume Music Facebook page. God bless you, and thanks for watching.